Hey guys, JSD here and welcome back to another gameplay video. Now today we're once again going to be playing Battlefield 1 War Stories. And we're going to be playing episode 3, well not really episode 3, mission 3, Avanti Savoia. Is that is how I pronounce it? Volunteer for the Italian RDT, a shock trooper unit battling amongst the Italian Alps. Everyone was affected by the war. Every corner of the world was touched. Okay, so let's just play it from the first chapter. Or the first section even, whatever you want to call it. Italy and Austro-Hungary are deadlocked among the Alps. Braced by snow-capped mountains, neither side can find a way to dislodge their enemy. Regular forces dig in and reinforce their positions. Meanwhile, an elite mountaineer regiment prepares for an unorthodox assault. This unit specialises in high-risk tactics. They call it the Arditi. The Arditi motto, O Lea Vittoria O Tutti O Copani. T, whatever. Translation, we either win or we all die. So if I said something wrong there, I have a reason why, because, well, I, I don't speak Italian or pronounce Italian or anything like that. So could see now, shut up now. Are you all right? We're ready for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. You looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. Okay, so, so far we know that Matteo and the character that I'm playing are, are twins. Since he said our 21st birthday, not like his or, his, well, the main character is all Matteo. So, we obviously know they're twins so far. And the armor I was wearing in the cutscene, the tech, that's the Sentry. Like in the multiplayer. To be honest, out of all the elite classes, I think the Sentry's the worst. I think the I think the tank hunt is the best. Either win or we all die. That's the RDT motto. All right, so let's get straight in there. New objective: camp capture that church. All right, so I got myself my MG. While Matteo was pushing for, um, I had to fight. I don't, I don't really not quite know the name of. And I believe this is the. Automatico? I was in a full suit of armor. Besides the Aditi. Automatico or yes. the Madison. We the for so anyway, let's get straight in there. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified. Right, so you have to fight against the Austro Hungarian forces. This is on Monte Grappa, as you can see by the map. Oh, and some guys are <laughs> So this is only a volunteer squad, so they're obviously very capable of it. Come and sound over battling on a great in the graveyard. Oh shit. Let's sound how we're, we're fighting on a graveyard though. Well, let's just say the people that were gonna die here the one the one we buried sort of already there. Well the world be buried, it's just like they're already they're already at the graveyard. Right, I think this is a plane for our No, no. 
them, bro, is you always have to try and aim for their back, because that's where the heal for their wax or flamethrower or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, um, Alright, so there's literally no cover on this map. So we seem to be getting destroyed. And we haven't captured the jerk yet. Many these flame flamethrowers. Alright, I think I got him. Alright, that's in that with. That with. Come on. We try and get his cover. Despite how good this armor is, I still need to heal. Alright, there we go. I don't see any medics, so I think it's just speed alone. Wow, well, there's that guy over there, but he's just doing all the work. Ooh. I haven't tried the automatic or the energy on the really. I mean, automatic or the magazine. So, so far I've actually got good, but it'll probably be good to play it. Have a small, fast pace and the uh, AI are actually hard to kill. I heard something like, when this video was uh, created, I don't know when this will be uploaded by the way. Uh, maybe, maybe the day it was created, which is November the 5th, I mean Friday. Or oh, just probably the next day because since these videos are in 1080p at 60 frames per second, they take quite a long, long time to edit. I mean, remember what was it? My first episode through Mud and Blood. It was an hour long. It took like four hours to render on Sony Vegas Pro. But mind you, well, mind you, it's a gaming PC and not like a multi one of those multimedia ones. I mean, the graphics card. It's only a GTX. I know it's quite a low range graphics card, but to be honest, I don't use the game. I'm, I'm, on, my con I'm on my console now. Or, or the Xbox One. Alright, so we managed to get to the church. Oh, shit, and another flame bro. Come on, fire at back. There we go. Please let me do that, mate. Left after the flame troops were some foot soldiers. Alright, flame troop is done. Would be ours. Now we've just got some regular foot soldiers. He shouldn't be too hard to handle. <laughs> so far, so good. Anybody else around here? Oh, yeah, you. Stab you. <laughs> Also notice the multiplayer, the armor is a hell of a lot weaker as well in the other century. Right, so far so good. the Austro-Hungarian forces. Well, out of this one church, anyway. And that is not over yet. We're still trying to recapture the church. Mind you, it was an artillery gun that was shelling us. An artillery gun that was shelling to destroy his and the tail. Still heading to the fort. Right. Hang on, I have been. I had to make sure he got right. I, the character I'm playing as is playing as is Lucia or Lucia. I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, by the way, you might be hearing a few beeps in the background. That's because, well, Windows keeps telling me I have malware on my computer. I've been trying to clear it, but it don't seem to be happening at the moment. Oh, artillery truck. Now, I believe I do have the OP dynamite on me. Oh, yes, I do. I've tried dynamite in a multiplayer before. It's probably... Apart from, apart from the anti-tank mine, probably the best thing to take the tank out with. The entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery can remain. So you have to get rid of that artillery gun. Or the fortress. Or the Right, there we go, the one-man army rises again, and then the second guy the team's only the end of getting gunned down. He died fighting for his country. Very patriotic. Right, so 
somebody behind me. Oh, flamethrower. Wex. Was that him yet? There? Oh god, shot at him. Spider oh, oh fuck, and there's another one. Oh, good for mine, killed him as well. We that was surrounded by two and I've never aimed at any of their backs yet, but somehow managed to fire at the back. You know what I mean? Me like the bullet managed to get rid of the uh, managed to shoot the field tank. Right. Oh, another one! Oh god, never mind. He's dealt with. Fifteen bullets to deal with. I do think he's given a lot of armour as well. Alright, let's march right into this fortress. Done. The only way to ensure the artillery gun. Safe. There it is. Blow up the gun itself. Here, I have an anti tank Got that not dealt with it? Well, I guess I'll have to lay down some dynamite. Here, what to do? Yeah. There we go, Fortress gun dealt with. I still believe it's not over. That explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. I imagine it's the sweetest sight of the war because that means well, there was no your rest. brother could still be alive. The anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that and was my next target. The aircraft gun is taking out our planes. It doesn't stop. The RDT must be OP. Very proud. I will go once again, the one-man army. I still don't see anything. Doesn't even matter. It's an army. Too. The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian. Well, the sentry was shit in the multiplayer. It seems to be good in this sentry. And this is on normal difficulty, by the way. As you might have probably already seen at the start of the video, as it was highlighted by the game, not me. Edited, by the way. Somebody has to shield around it. So I'll get to go down. I'm reloading. Okay. Oh, hello. Stop. Oh. No matter how much of an old pun this is, but it's a knife to me. No, terrible. Knife to me. Alright, so let's get to the anti-aircraft gun and finish it off. Well, finish off the planes. I take that. Why else would we go on it? But then I hear a noise that I will never forget. But it's, amaz it's amazing how you can recall all this in the story from Jordan. So I do the only thing I can. Alright, so let's shoot down these planes. An entire enemy bomber squadron. No, let him hit him. Alright, so the four minutes of multiplayer are probably much stronger than that. Well, not probably, they are stronger. It would take more than just like one that's mean. We had no reinforcements. Hits. If those men would destroy them, our advance would be completely halted. And I would have lost my tail. There we go, bombers down. Oh no, there's another one. I never realised how accurate the gun is at the back of the bomber. I thought it wouldn't have been flying so fast, but after the first few I started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Alright, more bombers. It's only the bombers that are actually having to go Were you still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it.
found a way to cause a landslide and crush the failed unit in the valley. Smart strategy, but does it end up killing some of their troops as well? Smart, but sort of idiotic. Oh, he's, he's a lone plane coming towards me, so you better run. I hope the explosion never penetrated the armour. Well, it did, it's just at least it saved the guy that was wearing it. When I got up, I thought I had died and gone to hell. Look similar. They blew up the mountain. They buried us. They buried themselves. As I said, they're a bit stupid. Oh God, Mateo. I had to find him. So I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. And we're grabbing a very small gun. Mind you, I tried that out on the multiplayer. Very good, very good fire rate. I had to find Matteo. I believe you get this with the sentry as well, but I think it's kind of a random chance between getting the big machine gun or this. Oh, we can do the stealth thing. Wait, can I chuck a lure? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, I've been really mad. I haven't got my armor this time, so I have to be a bit more cautious and less cocky. I started with the first thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. Oh, pinned inside the lodges, I need to save them. Right. Allies are in here. So they are pinned inside the lodges, but the ones that are not. Well, the building was just not there. Hopefully not, anyway. Oh, the Madison MG. Alright, so that was the automatic call. Yeah, that was the automatic call. Well, actually, no, frag grenades. Because if I remember correctly from my history lesson, I believe frag grenades had less of a, less of a delay. Mind you, I don't think that, I don't think they have that on Battlefield 1. Oh, the net mercy storm. I feel like that's um, not as good as it is in my opinion. Tried in the magazine to this hall. We could hear them before we saw them. Armored vehicles coming from the Armored vehicles from the But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Lucia Benizo Cochlea, 1897-1918. Now you know when the battle took, took place. Now I believe that wasn't in the story. That was just my error that 
We could hear them before we saw them. Well, no, no, there is a reason why cover exists. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Madison MG Storm, we've already got that, so we'll get it again. Try, try to get more ammo there. Squads inbound. They are artillery trucks. Yes, hit them. See another artillery truck. No idea. Hello? Why do you only send an artillery truck? They're not really gonna do anything. Also, you only have to put one anti tank grenade and then finishes them off. Oh, no. Right, I have to defend, I have to defend this point. Sheer force of will, we took out their firepower. The lodges were safe. took out their manpower. I guess it's a good thing. You never said, was Mateo in those lodges? No. The men said his unit had made it further up. Uh, Mateo's unit made it further up. Alright, so what's next? Search for Mateo. Let's search this. Let's search over here first. Binoculars are a vital tool to vital tool to determine your approach. Do you do stealthily or loudly? I'm probably gonna do it loudly. Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. Alright, so we have to get out of the My friends were trapped. Out of the trench. Everywhere I looked, too late. Not, not a, oh, no, 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 the cells you found. After Dead. A while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. We had to have made it to the front. Oh, here. Oh, field manual. <laughs> Don't often scan in. Oh, Italian. Okay. So, you might be up here in this fortress. Some of the things I saw to Zora. I had to convince myself I wasn't dead. Oh, fuck. Lots of defenses, lots of defenses. Defenders, guys. Remember, if I die, the mission's over. It's not really over, but. Oh, there we go. Finish the fire soldier off. Turn the Reloaded. Oh, artillery truck. Fire grenade. Did that miss? Yeah, good. We go, done. <coughs> I'm not a medic, so I can't really heal myself. Also, it's just a campaign. Right. I think there's either an artillery truck or a field gun in fire. Either way, I'm dead. Right, how would I feel? Oh, behind cover behind us. Sandbags. Tied again! Okay, so we have to get over to this next bit over here.
Oh, and by this next bit, it actually mean like, um, what was it? When I found the Tails unit, dead. Because I forgot a uh, respawn. Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. When I could hear Italian yelling, I knew my friends were trapped. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among right, the ghosts. So I have to be a bit more cautious when growing up. When After a while, I couldn't cautious. even look at the bodies. For example, to have made it to the fort. I got this one then. Oh shit! That's all right. I have to spot them as well. That'll be useful. I've got I have to be aware of the artillery fire in the field as artillery was responsible for 75% of the deaths in World War One. Not just shown by battlefield. So that, that in history as well. I had to convince myself I wasn't dead. Oh shit. Fire. I've only got this thing left. This is, the range on this isn't very good, so YOLO. You only live once while in the game. There's like one to be fun. Oh, I thought I'd bounce off the side of this wall of the trench. Come on. What how did I die again? Bloody hell, I'm not doing good at this. Well, I was dying a lot in the prologue, but that was meant to be happening. It's a long time since I've done the campaign, and when I say that, only a few days, because I had a battle pack opening, as you've seen in the last video, which is the last video, and that sniping montage, which took quite a, quite a while to make. And the reason why the quality in this video will be better than the one I mean, the sniping montage is because the sniping montage were basically, it was basically just clips um, using game DDR. I just joined any old map, started sniping, sniping with my friends. I get out of the trenches. It. I could hear it. And, well, yeah. I knew my friends were trapped. I started sniping them. Everywhere. Just recording any good sniping and bottle rush. Well, decent Alone enough. Among ghosts. And I put them into an editor and made it into a montage. While well, I couldn't even look at the bodies. We had to have made it to the fort. Right. Try walking up that way, it might be a bit easier. Hope it sort of makes more sense. I'm gonna try going that way. But first of all, I have to get the the western. Like what? I'm gonna have to use some of these craters. Like, I'm gonna use some of these craters as cover. After all, they mentioned that in the Come on, leg it. Leg it up the hill. Oh, there's someone on that field gun. Towards the field gun, so you can finally get off. I'd rather go through the underground tunnels. Right, the objective. Ground by circuit. Book's sake! Not to the front. I no longer had my armor. It was impossible. Of course it's impossible. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Fuck you. No, no, no. I barely see that, uh, melee death animation where you start. But you stab your enemy and you punch them. Now, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to get to that weapon crate. Some guy trying to kill me. Well, they're all trying to kill me, but I mean, like, he's used explosives. Either artillery or a field gun. Oh, the MP trench. No matter how much you hate being killed by this gun, I'll have to use it since I'm running out of ammo. 
Um, we'll have to go around the front of the fortress, really. I don't like the active scenes. Right, can we get through this blue door? No? Oh, more Austro Hungarian forces. Right. Oh, grenades, have it. See enough to play through them. Try and take cover behind these rocks. Oh, is that another fl flamethrower over there? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's over here. I guess I kind of mis misjudged this weapon. Oh no, I mean, that was, that was talking about the MG. Oh wait, there's artillery. And there's a sniper. Where's the artillery went? Come on, it was on the bridge somewhere. Where is he? Flame. Right, run, run, run. Okay, kill him at all costs. So annoying. Wait, did I kill him? Well, now it did. Right, I have to get rid of that artillery truck over there. Because it's a real pain in the arse. Come on, move, 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 move. Oh. Right, finally. Now I'll get, in, now I'll get up the fortress should be less annoying. Once again, the one-man army is here. This way. Oh, there's not even a there's not even a door there. Alright, Madison MG. I'll need you back. I can't understand this trench gun. Alright, what's in here? Uh stick grenades. I don't have to have them. I don't have any bad ones on me. Okay, what am I doing here? We are the Austrian horn. What do you mean the horn? Is that supposed to be another word for this? Italian or something? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, never mind. Kill me. That's how bad the armor is. Oh, mind you, that's because I was shooting him in the face. Right, is there anybody inside here? Yep. Yeah. Hello there. What? I just stabbed him once and it doesn't do anything. Oh, do we need to stab him in a specific place? Let's see it. A rifle grenade. Despite I don't think I have any rifles on me. Not MP trench, no, fuck off. Oh, almost firing at me. Oh, oh. Another sentry. A highly resistant bullet, but not explosive. Oh, no, no, no. No. no, go on, see, you only have to shoot him in the legs. Oh, the Gewehr infantry. Oh, look, there's somebody to support me at the end. Try and get the title as hero. But it's still sort of the one man army. Alright. Doesn't look to be anybody else attacking us. Wow. I just knew Matteo wasn't I there. I think we cleared the fortress. Right, find, find Matteo. Alright, what's in here? One of the cuts Think about that field. Every day. I was searching for the body. Well, a similar face. Had almost 
stopped Loki. Started giving in to the hope that we might take. Starting to give hope, but Mateo escaped. And then. And then. He found his brother no. next no. to the cliff. And he lost his brother. He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Followed new war, empires collapsed, new countries were formed. The world and our view of it was changed forever. Families were changed not only by those who lost, but also those who returned. Both fallen and the veterans became known as the lost generation. Okay, so that was that war story completed with. So next episode on the Battlefield 1 war stories, we'll be doing the runner. And I won't be doing the description of that now because that's all we have time for today, guys. If you like this episode of Battlefield 1 war stories, be sure to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. This is JSD, signing off.